Hello and a welcome to a brand new series. This is Tennis Manager 2021 and today we are going to be starting a brand new journey with Captain Goodspeed Tennis, my own made academy. Now there will be some uh, little things that I'm going to basically boost myself with, uh, one of which, spoiler alert, is we're going to pick Roger Federer as one of our players uh, and we're just going to be learning the game in this series uh, we're going to see how it goes hopefully you guys will enjoy if you want to see more hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe for daily sports and retro gaming content now when i'm recording this it's the bank holiday weekend in may in the U united kingdom and it is very very hot at the moment so i do have a fan on in the background i have tested a recording with it on and you couldn't hear it so i'm hoping that that is the case fingers crossed uh, that is uh, indeed the case uh, and without further ado a minute into this video let's get into it so a new career uh, remember I have got uh, the face pack and the real name pack that the developer sent me uh, on this game now I, I, I don't think I'm allowed to share those with you unfortunately but uh, if you search around enough online there will be some out there uh, I do promise you that so uh, we are going to create a new career uh, we are going to be ourselves. We are going to be uh, Captain Goodspeed. Um, and uh, our age is 23. And we are from the United Kingdom, of course. So uh, let's pick that, United Kingdom. And uh, I like the look of this guy. With the, the bow tie on there, we look like we, we know what we're doing. Now, uh, since recording my first impressions video, which uh, you, you've you probably seen if you're watching this video, um, I've realised that you can set yourself some good stats. Now, because I have no idea what I'm doing, I don't want to be limited by the fact that my character's rubbish. Now, obviously, later down the line, maybe in a, a, in a future series that we do, on this game, I will start from the absolute bare bones. But for this, I'm going to start as a legend. Just to give ourselves that little bit of a head start, that little bit of breathing room. Uh, now, I want to be a technician um, rather than versatile, I think. Or do I want to be a communicator? To be honest with you, versatile looked the best. There's a lot of green on there. Um, I am. it but um it was a little bit noisy and irritating for me so even if you guys couldn't hear it but uh you can obviously pick your own uh pick to to take over an academy um you know you can see the details so that this this team looks pretty good you know heather watson in there you've got uh kanish Corey in there as well that one could well be um a very very good one you've got the british one that we did in the first look with andy murray and cameron uh, norrie in there uh you've got this tierra victoria tennis academy in spain led by casper rude you've got uh jean munar um you know pr pretty decent uh then you've got the french riviera which has got Tsitsipas, um popperin and some of those some of the good players in there um, but what we're going to do is we're going to create our own, uh, and it's going to be called Captain Goodspeed Tennis, because I'm I'm very original. Uh, or should we go with CGS? I think CGS sounds a little bit more professional. CGS Tennis. Um, there you go, Captain Goodspeed Tennis uh, Corp. <laughs> um, and we're going to be based in the UK. Our board board director is James Barnes. And you got some other stuff in there. And what logo do we want to go with? I quite like this one, this blue one. Although this one looks very Wimbledon-y and very traditional. That's Roland Garros, obviously. Uh, yeah, I'm tempted t too much by that one. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is is give ourselves the highest budget we can. Uh, the Academy Vision is probably a traveller. Uh, sports level centre will go for two. Um, so we are going to nerf ourselves a little bit um, by having business centre and youth and scouting centre on one and medical centre two, sports centre two. We're going to give ourselves a, a decent budget and uh, we are going to give ourselves Roger Federer 
as our as our long to uh, as our big star player um, that we can hopefully start with as we mean to go on. But of course, Rogers thirty nine, so he's only probably going to be around for a season or two before he moves on. So we are going to have to very very quickly find our feet, and that was my whole idea: get Roger Federer in, get a feel for the game, have a bit of success, and then have to bring through another player. So we are going to immediately try and get a young player to go alongside Roger. Now, obviously, Roger Federer would never join a tennis academy like this. But this is a video game. We're playing it to have fun. So here we go. Uh, tutorial on the continue button. All of this and that. That's absolutely fine. Welcome, Captain, to our team. Uh, hello, Captain. I already sent you a few emails, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. So, um, yeah. You know, you guys might not like it so much that we've we've got the, the world number five. But again, you know, Roger Federer is no longer the best player in the world. Um, so it's, it's going to be tough to win Grand Slams with him. But it should give us uh, a good early um, career progression, a little bit of good form early on. That That's what I'm looking for here. So... He is, of course, a legend. He's uh, a tw 20 fame. His personality is adventurous, so tends to prefer short-term contracts. Uh, starts each match with extra motivation. Gets in shape faster than others, thanks to uh, matches. Okay, so 28th of November is when his contract runs to. I don't think we can extend his contract, but we can have a look at what, um, what he's got. So he's got uh, a Wilson brand. He's got the... Uh, UNOK brand as well. Um, these seem to end at the end of the year. And then he's got rebound shoes. Uh, okay, so we can change his, his outfit, which is fine. Um, I quite like the, the white and, and green shorts. And then you know he's got different rackets. Uh, control, touch, power, style... Maybe we go for this blue one. Go for a bit of extra power. That's what really brought Federer um, back into contention. Was going more attacking, basically. So let's have a little look at his training. What do we want to do for his preparation? Uh, so he's, he's going to be doing some backhand slice, muscle massage, some stretching. Then next week, uh, let's get him on some technique training. Then the week after, let's get him on some physics. Uh, then the week after, let's get him on some t uh, general. And then that should see him out for the rest of the year. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, game plans. Of course, he's got attack and play. He's got varied play. He's got serve and volley. Uh, and then, you know, these are the ones that he struggles with a little bit more. So that looks good. Then a planning, so he's going to be training for the next few weeks pretty hard, getting ready for next season. Then we've got the hard court season one. Um, do we want him to play in a warm-up event? I think we probably do. So um, he usually plays in Qatar, I think. Um, so let's register him for Qatar, and then he can... Uh, relax for a week before getting into the Australian Open. And then after that, he needs a rest in week four. Because I'm pretty sure, well, obviously Australian Open will go on for two weeks. Uh, and then we'll see after that. Maybe give him a week off. And um, and come back for, for maybe the, the Rotterdam tournament or... Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, and then miss out that one. You've got Indian Wells coming up. you got the Dubai tournament. Then you got Indian Wells. Uh, have a week off, probably. And then come back for the Miami Open, which he is the defending champion for. So I think that looks pretty good as a as an opening start. We've not got many staff, so it would be good to get some staff in there. So how do we do that again? I think it's maybe on search. 
Um, we'll go into staff. And then only display interested staff. Experience level. Oh, we, so we can have some legends. Uh, what about this Rostilav Kukushkin? Recruit. Yep, so they, they do want to join. They are uh, a trainer, and we do need some trainers, so that's absolutely fine. That's fine by me. Okay, so we got them. Uh, who else we got? So we've got Camilla Denisova. Uh, there's also... So th this woman is an agent. Do we need any agents? No, we don't need any agents. That's fine. Um, so let's filter out agents. Don't need them. So Kukushkin, we've already got. What about Nalan List? So Deborah Sawyer. Oh, we've already got. So we've already got a scout and analyst and uh, an agent. So let's get rid of scouts. So let's get rid of anal uh, analysts. So we need a physio in there. This forty-three-year-old looks pretty good. Maxim Voronov. We've then got Bessin, uh, who is a trainer. But yes, they're already retiring, so we don't want them. Carol Owens. Yep, yeah, she's retiring as well. Um, we got another coach here. So Tenty, get them in. I'm trying to get the best I can for now. Uh, I think you can get up to three trainers. Yes, three trainers. And then two physios. So we need one more trainer. Maldonado, Nicholas Maldonado, why not? We'll get him in. Um, and then... We need a physio, so I'm thinking display, I'm assuming management, and then ability to provide care on 20, and we only want physios. So this person looks pretty good. Valeria Denisova, so let's get the, them in as well. Okay, right, we seem to be in a good shape. Um, presentation of the academy. Roger has chosen. You must manage the player. Uh, we look forward. Blah blah blah. Um, so we've got an agreement in principle with all of them. Don't talk to me about agreements in principles. I'm buying a house at the moment. That's a a mortgage term, grown up term. A academy objectives for upcoming season. So keep current players, maximum one accepted departure, have a balance over zero. Um, yes, we did want to get ourselves another player, didn't we? So we have got two million. Uh, only display interested players. So who have we got here? Is there any one good? I mean, possibly. Um, I'd like somebody fairly young. So we could add a filter and have... Age uh, is less than 14. <laughs> yeah, we already want 13 year olds around here. Less than 30. Let's see who we've got. Uh, I mean, that says 37 straight away. Why didn't that work? I really thought that would work. So, age is less than. Do I need to press the tick? Ah, there you go. Okay, cool. Uh, so there's Coco van der, van der Vee. Um, that's not a bad one uh, to be interested in. Let's evaluate her. Um, because it would be nice to have a, a male and a female player. Jack Sox, a, a decent player. Um, what else is in here? So, yeah, maybe... Jack Sock. Anyone else that we can think of here? I mean, remember these are only interested players. Um, technical attributes. I mean, Coco Coco Vander Vanderway looks pretty decent. Let's propose a contract. See what she wants. So this is what she wants to achieve. 
so she's currently where she currently ranked. Um, so she wants to reach two hundred and thirteen in the world, improve her national rank, and so she's ranked thirty first. I think we can do a decent job with her if we just have her for the season. Accept objective, secondary player. That's fine by me. Um, academy revenue share. Let's get that up to twenty five percent and see if she fancies that. No, she doesn't. Unacceptable terms. What about twenty percent then? Okay. That's fine by me then. Okay. I mean, where's she ranked? Two hundred and fourteen at the moment. Obviously, she is a good player. I think we can get the best out of her. So let's uh, push forward. Um, you've just arrived in Eastbourne. Okay. We knew the conditions were met for us to succeed. Because, you know, Roger loves living in Eastbourne, doesn't he? Um, oh, come on. Let's just get on with that. Um, assign staff to players. Well, we, we've already done that. We're waiting for our staff members to arrive. Um, so, what was this? I made a, a list of major tournaments you could register if they have the required ranking. Yeah, I think we, we sorted that, didn't we? Yes. So there you go. Look, Qatar, then we've got um, a rest week, a couple of rest weeks before Rotterdam after the Grand Slam. Yeah, that, that looks fine by me. Um, hopefully that'll be all right. So training program for Roger, that's fine. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you guys uh, ready and ready to go for the... Uh, was it the Auckland tournament? The Adelaide tournament? No, it was Qatar. I'll get it right eventually. Okay, then, here we are for uh, the first match. Roger Federer is uh, the second seed. He's playing Sebastian Corda in this first match in the Qatar Open. So let's see how we get on then. Um, so you can see here uh, the opponent analysis. He's in medium form, plays most of the time as an aggressive baseliner. Um, he could switch his game to a counter-attack base play or powerful baseline. Uh, he's got good strengths in forehand power and smash, drop shot and lob are his weaknesses. It's going to be a balanced match. Roger has to start well and he should be alright. Roger is to keep his cool. Okay. So, um, I think, you know, focus on your serve a little bit. Everything else, let's just keep in the middle. We don't want to, to use too much, um of our sort of quarter of energy um he's looking stressed let's say uh you see more concentrated on the girl you saw in the stands i don't don't think that sounds much like roger this game is a turning point if you sit once on the court who says it's a game when asked to beware um believe in yourself and you will shine again i don't know I don't think any of them were right. I'd rather no comment, to be honest with you. But here we go. Ready for the first match. Let's see how we get on. Um, and I did notice I have played this a little bit since um, since the first look. And you can sort of update these statistics. So I have got it to show us break points, tie breaks, set, set points, match points. Um, and everything else should speed up a little bit but we'll watch this first game of roger and see how he gets on well good start already and an ace there so this looking good so far oh that was out the unlucky there but hopefully he gets off to a good start and there you go, he holds the opening game. Let's see him in his first return game. Uh, by the way, Vanderway uh, rejected our contract offer, so we've sent in another one. And hopefully we can get some more income coming in. Go for the pass. No, that was a poor shot, Roger. I'm sorry. 
There you go, a good hold for Sebastian Corda there. But, you know, that's to be uh, that's to be expected. Roger's not always going to win the return games. You know, I think that's the thing you have to remember about tennis. Uh, you're very unlikely to win 6-love, six 6-love. Six you know, you are going to lose lots of points in the match. It's just about making sure you hold your own serve and keep your energy levels up. That's a very good start for Roger. We'll watch this game and then skip forward a little bit. Might have to up the return intensity a little bit because he is struggling out there. On the return, but that's a, a good forehand to get him back into it. Might have to go for the Chipman charge at this rate. That was a lovely forehand. This is a good rally. And an important rally early on, you feel, mainly for... Corden, well, there you go, Federer wins it. And now, he can smell blood. He's going to try and get a, us a break point here. Yep, yeah, here we go, break point for Rog. Oh, straight into the middle of the net, unfortunate there. Oh, here we go, another break point. Ah, oh, again, poor... Poor return. And again. Struggling with his forehand today. His backhand's looking lethal. Forehand not so much. So let's uh, skip forward a little bit. And remember it will bring us in if there are any breakpoint opportunities. And there could be one for Corda here. And there is. Mm. Wasted it though. And Roger's going to punish you for that. And he does. So here we go again. Skipping forward, of course. But uh, a decent start from Corda. He's in the dumps at the moment, apparently. I don't think he needs to be in the dumps. He's not playing too badly. Roger's devastated as well, for, for whatever reason. You can do it. Hey, and there you go. We have... We have uh, Broke serve now, and... Serving for this first set of the Qatar Open. Three set points, and there you go. And a straight away, very, very good from Roger there. That was a decent first set. Um, and let's move our intensity levels up for the return a little bit. Bring it down for the, the serve. You would expect him to be able to... To win the service games, and here we are. We've joined a break point once again for Roger. And there you go, he has broke serve in that first game of the second set, which is what we want to see. And you can see along the bottom. Doing very, very nicely. And, well, we'll just sort of play through to the end of the match now. That was match point, but he did lose it. Still a juice here. Oh, lovely shot down the line from Corda there. And there you go, he does hold on. So Roger has been asked the question, can he serve it out? And he hasn't given away a break point, I don't think. So, well, if he has, it's only the one. So you would imagine he'll serve out here, but... Wow, what a start. Love 30 here. Roger will be devastated if he doesn't win this. And that's why it's so two break points for Corda. Maybe I was a little bit too hasty in assuming that this was going to be it, but that's a beautiful ace out wide. So an unreturnable serve. 
And an ace gets them back to juice here. It's not over yet, though. Ah, it could be now. Match point. And there it is. There's the ace. Well done, Roger Federer. And there you go. Fantastic. And we win in straight set 6-3, 6-4. I'm waiting for no no I'm joking, go and have some rest. Uh okay, that's fine. He didn't seem to react. So he is self assured. Uh we've got Michael Moore coming up next. Uh Rafa Nadal making his way safely through the draw. Uh and you you would think we should be able to win this one. Uh we'll go for attack and play. Um keep his cool, simulate. Damn it! Well, Roger loses. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Uh, I thought, yeah, we'll get away with this. But apparently not. Um, oh, so annoying. So he is out of the Qatar Open. And that's going to knock his confidence a little bit. Uh, she's agreed to sign, so we'll get her in. Now then, do we, do we panic and go and get ourselves registered for next week? It looks like it has closed, so... Um, yeah, I think we'll be all right. What does he want? Uh, should we expect it? Well, well, of course, we'll try and get it to the, the top. She's a real fighter. Okay, I think Coco is going to be great. Right. Maldonado in there. Get everybody on, on these. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get uh, them out there. And, oh, how are. Uh, maybe we get Voronov on them and we get Nahima. Nahimana on there. That looks good. Okay, cool. Right, we need to get her registered for something, actually, don't we? So. Looks like, looks like they've they've sorted her out for. Right, let's go in there. Uh, Van der Wey. Uh, yeah, that, that looks fine. So I don't. Has she got herself on that or not? Don't think so. That's fine. Training program. Yeah, so we're going to get into the W Midland MI. That's fine. Hopefully she'll win some matches there. Let's get ourselves to the Australian Open then. We'll play Roger's first match there and hopefully get him through. Uh, okay. So some for Roger Federer. Some for Van der Hoey. Cool. Right. Here we go then. Roger's beaming apparently. He shouldn't be after losing that, that last uh that last match. Who are we in the same half as? It looks like Nadal, so we could be meeting Nadal in the quarters. I'm trying to find the four oh fourth seeds out Medvedev wow out in the first round so this is a little bit of a chance maybe um let's go with the attack and play again playing a whole Zhao Souza uh there you go cool he's pumped for the match let's get going then come on Rog we'll watch this first game and hopefully see Roger at his best. Oh, that was a poor forehand. I'm expecting to see a good performance this time round. You know, he played well in, in the match we watched. I think it was just the fact we simulated that messed him up. That's a cracker. Absolute cracker. Oh, that was close. 
Right. Let's get ourselves simulating. And well, he has got a break point here in this first game. It didn't look like it was going to happen. And still doesn't. Even though he's had a break point, he let it go. Yes, another break point now. Come on, Rog. Forehand deep, backhand deep. You feel like he's on top of the point here. Awesome forehand, but not quite enough. Yes, there we go, and we do break in the first game. And that could be crucial. But Roger Federer, two break points against him here. It's not often Roger gets broken, so this is a big moment. Good forehand, though. And that's out. Well, he'll be furious about that. He really will be, but he's got another break point here. Is anybody going to hold serve? Another break point. Come on. That's out. And there you go, Roger does. Hold, uh, break serve again. And surely this time he'll hold serve. Yep. So, a lot more conventional now. He somehow brought it back from 40 love back to advantage now. And he's got another break point. And there it is. So 4 1 up now. And that's what we're talking about. So it should be a reasonably straightforward run to the end of this first set now. 5-1 up. And there you go, set point now. And there it is. So Roger Federer wins the first set 6-1. I know we're celebrating that, but that was, that was a very, very good performance. I was happy with that. Uh, his points one on second serve, he'll have to take more risk. Okay, so let's get on uh, his second serve then. Um, well, I mean, it's it's on high. It is on high. Maybe go for average on that. We'll see how he gets on. I mean, hopefully it should be a, a straightforward run to the winning line now. You know, let's try and not take too much out of him. Three break points straight away here for Rog. And that was an awesome forehand winner. And there you go, he's already ahead now. Another break point coming. Yeah, well, hey, if he keeps playing like this, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. He really is. So, let's see how he gets on here. 40-15 up already, and yeah, serving to save this set now, Suze. That's held. Come on, Rog. Three break points. What are you doing, mate? Oh, he's not happy. He's wearing the same outfit as us, actually. That's possibly one of the reasons why he's not happy. Come on, Roger, don't. Give this away. It'll be sloppy. A little bit more mileage for you. Yeah, he has given it away and he is annoyed about that. He is annoyed and you never see Roger too annoyed, but he is going to try and get it on this game. So, two set points and there it is. So, we're two sets to love up with Roger here. And it should be an easy enough run to the finish now. You would imagine. So, good start for Roger Federer. And, uh, you know, I think he could be a contender in this Grand Slam. You know, Medvedev's out, of course. 
We've already got the break in this third set. It's been an impressive performance. And Inca Tai played well as well. You know, don't forget that. Uh, okay, we lost in the second round, but I think that was mainly due to simulating. We won't be making that mistake again. Not in the Grand Slam anyway. We'll be making sure we keep a close eye on Roger. And there you go. I mean, he is playing so well. This is great to see. Absolutely in top form. So it looks like we've had the the perfect preparation for him to go and do his job. I mean, amazingly enough, and still hasn't held on to his serve here. Sells it. And there you go, Roger does win it. And now he's four love up in this first set. Yeah. Well, I mean that was that was very very brutal, wasn't it? So to stay in the match now, so is it? of good points for him. He probably will hold here. Roger, I want to entertain the crowd a little bit. Yeah. Just let this one go, Rog. Well, that was a double fault. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Return winner. Yeah. I suppose if you can... He's got it back to juice again. And so many times in this match, it's been 40 love, 30 love. And Rogers brought it back and played a very, very good game. That's a great shot down the line. He is just playing these really, really well. That's cross court. Again, and that's wide. So match point for Roger Federer. And he has done it. Well done to the FedEx. Roger Federer wins in straight set. 6-1, six, 6-2, six, six love. And he's through very, very comfortably um, on to the next round. And, uh, well, we're playing Jiri Veseli. In the next round, let's have a little look at the um, at the draw and see how it's opening up. So Djokovic is through, beating Richard Gasquet. Karen Kachanov is through. Rublev is through. Garin is through. Um, Thompson, wow, he beat uh, Zverev. So Thompson's through. John Millman's through. He's beaten. Juan Martin Del Potro, who was one of the qualifiers. What a qualifier he is to get through. Goodness me. Uh, Shapovalov's out. Dimitrov's out. So Delian and Lopez are through. Teams through. Nishioka's through. Bautista Gu, Giron, Schwartzman, Isner. Isner's going to be a tough man to stop in this tournament. Tommy Paul, who beat Fanini. Shardy's through, Kanish Corey's through, um, Raunich is through, Goffan's out, anyone else in here, Dan Evans, he's through the last 32, uh, trying to see who's in our sort of half the draw, I mean look at this one, Botic van Zand. Schlup, never ever heard of him. He's a qualifier anyway. Um, <laughs> look at that. Must be one of the devs. That's funny. Um, but yeah, this is really opening up. Nick Kyrgios is is in our quarter as well. Cameron Norrie there. Actually, no, Kyrgios is in Nadal's quarter. Hmm. So you know, we we seem to have a reasonably straightforward run. To at least the quarterfinals here, if not the semi-finals, 
where we would be taking on Rafa Nadal, obviously. But uh, it's opening up for Roger Federer. Now, Vesely is a good player. That is going to be a tough match. Um, he came through very easily in the first round as well. So, hey, who knows what's going to happen. But uh, we will pick it up in the next episode. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. I know it's going to be a lot different to, to what so many other people are doing on this game. But I thought it would be really entertaining to, to try and get Roger Federer that, that final Grand Slam to, to make him the undisputed GOAT, in my opinion. And... Uh, you know, try and build ourselves a, a good squad. We've got Coco as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing how she gets on. Uh, and, and hopefully she can move through the rankings as well. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back with another episode later this week. And I hope you uh, guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. <laughs>